This is the review of the Occipital Bridge virtual and mixed reality headset for iPhones coming up. Hi and welcome here to Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So this is the Occipital Bridge VR and AR headset for iPhones. And as you can tell here, here's an iPhone 7 in it. And well, it is kind of enclosed in this shell, in this Occipital Bridge shell. Now, the real star of the show is this here. This is the structure sensor. So th this is actually the main product that Occipital sells. With this sensor, you can turn your iPhone or your iPad into a 3D scanner. And with this 3D scanner, you can scan your apartment, you can scan any objects in 3D, you can scan yourself and make a 3D model of yourself and well, use it in any kind of 3D application or VR application, actually. So actually the structure sensor is the star of the show and it's not that um, this has been developed for this VR headset, no. This is truly a great product on its own and they have now just built um, a VR headset around it to kind of show off what it, it can do. And well, it is of course really useful because it scans your environment and it helps this occipital headset to beam you into an AR world. <laughs> so what does it exactly mean? This sensor scans your world around you and well, it will allow you to put to see virtual things in your world, well, augmented reality. And that is the special thing about the occipital bridge headset. Now, this will set you back $399, including the structure sensor, which alone costs already $379. So really, this actually is just an add-on for the structure sensor. So people who want to buy the structure sensor anyways, for a few bucks more, they can also get this VR headset. So if anyways you wanted to get the structure sensor for $379 in order to make a 3D scanner out of your iPhone and iPad in order to scan objects or scan your environments, now with an additional 20 bucks, you can also get the Occipital Bridge VR and AR headset that goes together with that structure sensor. So as I told you already in the unboxing of the device, it is a really comfortable headset, um, high quality, it feels very sturdy. Not everything is made from plastic. This seems to be some kind of metal here in the end. So it is not some cheap headset. Also, it has an additional widescreen lens here, 120 degrees. And overall, it has a very, very nice build quality. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate it and what you can actually do with it. Let's dive right into it. All right, so you have to calibrate that structure sensor first. And to do that, you will download an app from the Apple App Store and it will ask you to open a certain page on their website with a checkerboard, as you can tell here. And then what you have to do, you have to align this virtual checkerboard with the checkerboard on the screen. And you have to do so from several kind of angles so that the structure sensor is perfectly calibrated for all kind of angles. The next thing you have to do, you have to capture some scenes around you to finish with the calibration. And for that to happen, you will have to go outside or close to the window so you have lots of sunlight. That seems to be really important. And then you have to move around slowly and well, the, the structure sensor and your phone will take pictures and analyze the scene around it. So here on the left side, you see the infrared picture and on the right side, you see the real picture. And well, it's going to do some kind of calibration. Actually, you don't know what actually is happening, but it's doing everything in the background automatically. Next thing you have to refine that automatic calibration manually by moving your thumb onto the touchscreen of your iPhone and really aligning that infrared picture with the real world and then actually you're done. 
and um, save calibration you have to click on it on the right bottom I did that right now and well then the calibration is being uploaded and then your structure sensor is perfectly calibrated so now we're going to have a look at the demo that comes with the occipital bridge headset so first of all you scan the environment and that is really cool so this structure sensor perfectly captures your environment in 3d all the depth everything that's there and it is pretty awesome pretty amazing gives you that kind of matrix feeling that you're scanning your surrounding and yeah that you're basically digitizing everything around you as it is and well it happens simply by moving your phone around in real time as you can tell here and that is really really cool so yeah i've captured this part now of the room not the whole thing but only this part and then once you're done you click on ok or done and the scene is being memorized and mixed reality is being initiated okay so this is the point where you put the headset on your head and let me zoom into one eye only so we have a little robot here that's now in your environment and you can send this robot around in your environment and you can click on it and you have several things that you can do with it yeah move around and then for example we have this little ball and we can throw it into our environment and the robot is going to bring it back to us and as you can tell here i'm moving around in my environment and we have perfect six degrees of freedom movement now interestingly i i threw that ball onto my couch and because the structure sensor scanned my environment it knows that the ball should be on the couch and it shouldn't go further so this is really the interesting thing here the structure sensor is perfectly aware of your environment and this is how AR should be like of course still we have some black artifacts still here this is not so perfect yet but well this is like a little glimpse into our AR future what we're we going to get with the Magic Leap 1 for example and I think it's pretty cool that you can do stuff like this on a mobile phone already just with this structure sensor so yeah as you can tell I throw this around you can see my hand on the bottom so this is really live a live picture of what I can see right now and yeah I threw it now on the table as you could tell and it fall off the table so this is really the special thing here of the occipital bridge AR headset and I, as you can tell I can go close the robot becomes bigger I can go closer to the couch so this is really six degrees of freedom virtual reality and augmented reality and i love to throw the ball onto that couch yeah <laughs> it's not perfect yet as you could tell the robot now went through the couch here anyways let's check what else the robot can do so we have this icon here and when, once you click it you can kind of scan your surroundings and well yeah the structure sensor shows off what it can do yeah by simply scanning your world in 3d it's a cool little effect again it's a bit like matrix style and yeah it's just a little small gimmick to show off what the structure sensor actually can do again this is really about the structure sensor and the headset around it it's nice and stuff but actually there is really no content there and here's another thing you can do you can put some furniture around you and yeah once i move closer there's the part that's not scanned of course so it's black but anyway so this is about the structure sensor there's really no content other than this little demo here there's no games there's really nothing so this is not really good if you are expecting some ar glasses with lots of content no this shows off what the structure sensor can do it's a nice halo product it only cost 20 dollars more than if you only get the structure sensor and yeah it kind of shows off what you can do with it and if you are a developer for example you will also get some development kits so you could do interesting ar applications with the structure sensor on top of your um occipital bridge headset i think it's a very interesting glimpse into our ar future when our headsets are aware of their environments in 3d 
and well can therefore put this augmented reality onto our reality and of course this is so much coming up in the magically one in this year and well occipital they are also producing very cool inside out sensors that are actually even more powerful than this structure sensor and they are going to sell these inside out sensors to manufacturers of virtual and ar headsets so definitely have a look out for Occipital. They are very, very strong in this inside out technology. Now, as you can tell, the structure sensor is really powerful and how it scans your 3D environment is really awesome. Now, in conjunction with the Occipital Bridge, you get a nice glimpse into our AR future. But since there's really no content there whatsoever, only this one little experience, yeah, it is not that if you want to get an AR headset, you should get this one. No, this is really only like a Halo product to show off what the structure sensor can do. So if you want to make uh, a 3D, 3D scanner out of your iPhone or iPad, then you can go for the structure sensor. And if for an additional 20 bucks, you want to get that headset, which is a capable cardboard headset for iPhone, you can do so. But no, this is not a full-fledged AR headset. There is really nothing out there. And unfortunately, it does not really seem that there's going to be lots of content for this device anyway. So if you want to have an AR headset with lots of content, definitely wait for the Magic Leap 1. But if you want to have a great potent 3D scanner for objects, for your environments, for yourself to bring you into the game, then you can definitely and you should definitely have a look at the structure sensor which you can get by itself for $379 from occipital.com. So that's it for this review of the Occipital Bridge with Structure Sensor. If you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comment section below or much better, why don't you directly ask me in a chat and you can do so on the MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a great free resource where you can meet me and all of the great MRTV community. We are all like-minded people. We love VR and AR and we would like to chat with you. So go there. It's a free resource. You can get there simply by clicking on the link in the description below. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.